eyes, let's make some eclairs together. We will start by cooking our shoe pastry. Start by adding half a cup of water and half a cup of non-fat milk into your pot. Quarter teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of sugar, and 110 grams of butter. Bring to a full boil and add 140 grams of all-purpose flour. Stir quickly until the dough forms. Move your dough to the mixer bowl and mix with the pedal attachment for two minutes to cool down the mixture. Add five eggs to the mixture, one at a time, waiting until each of them is fully incorporated before adding the next. Prepare your piping bag and fill it up with your shoe pastry. Have your baking sheets ready with parchment paper. Add a small amount under each corner to secure the paper in place. Start piping and try to be as straight as possible. If you mess up, it's fine, just scrape it back into your bag and try again. Space them well as they will at least double in size in the oven. Prepare your egg wash by mixing two egg yolks and one teaspoon of heavy cream and lightly brush the pastries. Slide the back of a fork over each eclair. This ensures they will bake evenly. Bake 10 minutes at 220 degrees Celsius then 15 to 20 more minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. Use a metal skewer to poke each end. This helps release steam. Prepare your chocolate ganache. Pour half a cup of boiling heavy cream over 110 grams of dark chocolate. Let it sit for two minutes before mixing. For an extra shine, add one tablespoon of corn syrup or honey. Have your pastry cream ready at this point. You can check my earlier video on how to make one. Prepare a new piping bag. I really recommend getting one of those tips. It really helps with filling up eclairs. Using the holes you created earlier, fill up each eclair until it feels heavy in your hand. Fill it up from both ends. Use a jiggle motion to break any inner walls. Dip each eclair in the ganache. Serve them immediately or keep them in the fridge for one day. You could also freeze the baked shells unfilled for up to one month and bake them from frozen at 180 degrees for about eight minutes. I hope you enjoyed this one guys. Thanks for watching.